Hi everyone, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is week two in the 2024 Collage Weekly Planner for Marguerite Miller. Uh, this one is a little, I don't know, it's kind of throwing me. Um, if you didn't see week one, I explained that for the month of January, I'm trying to use my um, Daphne Diary magazines. I just thought there's so many pretty images in here and it's something a little bit different for me. It'll be something a little different for you to watch, but I thought I would use um, images from Daphne's diary. And these are all images. We've got the moon. I have an adornment. And then I have something that you find in a garden, which is a gal, lavender. Um, and then I have some stamps here. So that is just what this week's prompts are. An object with jewelry or adornment, a light source you find interesting, something stapled, something found in a garden, and a receipt. I'm changing out the receipt um, for the black ink stamping. I really couldn't find any type of receipt that would look okay in here. And I don't know if I'm going to use this. This is my um, an object with jewelry. Well, it says an object with jewelry or adornment. So I'm just using this as, I mean, this could be an adornment. And there's a little piece of jewelry there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading the prompt wrong. I don't know, honestly, if I'm going to use this. So I'd love to have you stick around and see what becomes of these prompts. Um, I don't, I do not have this planned out. So I don't know how it's going to, <laughs> how it's going to work. And if you're one of my regular gals that come and sit with me around my craft table. Welcome. I, I love to have you here. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. And if you see where I'm doing something that doesn't make sense, just elbow me or give me a shout. And let me know that I've forgotten something or whatever. So I have that. And this is my little book that I'm working in. Um, this is last week's collage. So I'm going to take this right out. Set that over here. And we have this one here. Ah, uh, let's see. Um... Well, we've got that there like that. Now, the moons, I thought there was really nothing on this side of the page that I wanted to use. But I'm wondering if I want to cut this out or rip it out and use it across here. I want to get some background paper, but I think my background paper is going to be this. Um, I just think this is really pretty. And I, before I do that, I want to cut this gal out because I would like to have her placed on my page in a different spot. But I thought I might use the top of this here. So... Um, Maybe I could rip this off here. So we could do that. And maybe I'll do it this way. I'm a little more, I think the way I was ripping is more for a left-handed person. Um, I 
kind of want to come up like this, down and around. I wish I was like Debbie over at My Vagabond Style. Um, she's ambidextrous. I noticed that she cuts her paper with her right hand. And um, she writes with her left hand. So that's a nice trait to have. Lucky you, Deb. So I have this here like this, and I really don't care about... Um, that section there because I'd like to cut that lavender out. So I'd like to put that there like that. Right there. And then I do want to, I'd like to cut this lavender out, but I'd like to put something, um, some paper at the bottom of this. And I'm thinking maybe a pretty blue that might be kind of nice. Um, and then I want to use my light source that I find interesting is the moon because I love the moon at night. Um, it is a wonderful light source. And especially living in the mountains, it's very bright. And then, you know, we're, we don't have light pollution where I live. So the stars and the moon are just absolutely beautiful. Um And I'm wondering, it might be kind of fun to rip and tear this out and have this at the bottom here. Um, now let me see something here. I want to take this, I want to make a straight edge on this because maybe I could just use this whole back page maybe I could use this whole back page here we could put this here like this and then this is the top of my paper here we could put that there like that then I would still have, I'd like to bring this down a little bit um, that might do the trick. I could have that there, like that. Put, and then I'd have the moon as well. The moon's down here. So I think I'm going to do that. So what I want to do is get this measured out. Um, I'm going to make a little mark. right here get that cut get that cut down so yeah this is a little different how I'm collaging um, right now so I hope you're I hope you're enjoying it because like I said it is it's different I'm not this isn't the norm for me but that's okay So if I have this here, and then I'm going to have this here. Okay, I think that's fine. All right, and then I'm going to I wonder if I could move this over even a little bit. Because then I could have, let's see how this will work. That would be right in the, right there. That might be kind of good. So, um, all right, so we're going to do this. I'll cut that there. So I do want a straight edge on this one. All right, so we have 
that. And then I can put that there like that, which will be good. And then I can rip this. I'll rip this side here. Where's my little, where's my little ripper? And then I'm going to get this glued on here first. And then that way I'll know where I'm, where I'm at with this. And sorry about all the fuss. I'm I'm just a very linear, linear um, person, and I just have to have um, my everything lined up. It's just how I roll. So I know some of you are probably like, "Why does she have to be so particular?" But it's that's just. That's just what I do. All right. Okay, so I think that's good here. All right, and then we're going to cut. I'll just cut the bottom off that with my scissors. So we're going to get this put down because I have nothing that I'm going to tuck. Um... I have to have something stapled. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple this on this week instead of tucking it. I'll just get it stapled on there. And then that'll be good. So I hope everybody is doing well. And you're all crafting up a storm. I cannot wait to... I'm just so excited. I'm sure there's a lot of gals out there that are going to do all different new um, change things up for 24, which is exciting. I love to watch everybody with their new projects. And if you don't have any new projects, that's okay. Um, January is pretty set for me um, as far as just my crossword puzzle collage. and But come... February, I hope to um, really do work on some new projects. Um, sorry, that's probably been glaring at you. Work on some new projects. Um, that's when I'll be back. I'll really be back in my craft room. I'm hoping um, February. I'll be able to get up the stairs again. Okay, so we have we have our gal, and I'm going to actually cut her out. Um, and get her down. I'm almost tempted to maybe raise her up a little bit with some uh, little glue dots. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I would still, I'm still contemplating if I, you know, if I can use that somewhere. Um, I mean, that's my, 
if I don't use the adornment, then I'm going to have to use um, see, I changed the receipt out for the black, black inking, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to use that adornment because I don't have a receipt. And I just think that would a receipt would look a little odd on here. So I have my gal here, and then um, I'm just trying to think how I could I could use this here. That would be pretty there, right in between the moons. So there's my adornment. Um, something you find in the garden is the lavender and the gale collecting lavender in her in her garden. And then something stapled. Um, I know what I could do. I can cut this out real quick. And I can staple this to my, and this is just going to be a rough, a really rough cut of this. I'm not going to get too intricate with it. And then I'm also going to need to use that black uh, stamp. And I pulled, and I think I know what I'm going to. I had initially pulled a really cute owl because I thought an owl would be just adorable on here. But I don't think the owl would fit in very well. So I think what I'll do is I will staple the piece of lavender. on this here. Um, and I want to keep the moons here, so I think what I'll do is um, maybe I can do a what can I do with this? Um, I do like that there. If I could just, maybe I can tuck this here. I could move her over a little bit, but then that's kind of So let me just see here. So I have object of jewelry, light source, which is the moon, something stapled. Okay, something found in the garden is the gale with her basket with the lavender, um, black ink stamping. I have to do something stapled. So I think what I will do I want to show those moons. And you're probably all saying, leave the moons alone. So what about the moons? I don't want to put that up there. I got to think about this for a minute. So just give me a second. Okie dokie. All right. I know how I'm going to finish this off. It just to me, it just wasn't complete. It just felt bare up here, or it just didn't just didn't make. You know how I always have to either have a story or send a message or something. So I did find a tuck spot. I was able to open this up. I'm going to be able to tuck that right up in there like that. So um, my I'm going to use my stamp, a rubber stamp, a black ink stamping. And I picked out of this 
here, the illustrated faith, okay? Um, it says dream. So, because lots of times, what do you do when you look up at the stars or you gaze at the moon or whatever? You, you dream. You daydream and such. So, I'm going to stamp that right here on her hat. And I think that would be really cute right there. dream. I think that's really cute. So she is a dreamer gazing at the stars and the um, the stars and the moon. So we're going to get her down. And she is right there. Right here. So she is dreaming. She wants to dream. And then up here, I am I found another the other moon that I cut off. I'm going to be putting that right up here. And I'm going to, it's going to be like a, a large star hanging off of the moon, because this does look like a star. And I want to have that right around there. And I want to kind of keep these sides open, because you're going to see what I'm going to do. So I want to keep them open for a few minutes. And then I found... I want to add, I want to make a little night sky up here. Some little clouds that have um, the night sky that has rolled in. here. But I want to lift this up just a little bit. Get that in. Because you know how the clouds kind of in the sky, they overlap each other. And then I can get this down this side here. And then the same with this side here. one down. There. So that, that, we have the clouds around the moon in the night sky, the stars around there. And then we are going to have this large star hanging from the moon. This could be the North Star, all right? And we're going to hang that just like that off of the moon. There. There. So that, I think, I think that came together quite nicely. Um, so let's go over the prompts again. An object with jewelry or adornment. So I went an object with adornment. So the object is obviously the the ribbon here made into a necklace. This is the adornment here. Um, I'm using this as a large star. A light source you find interesting is the moon, which I just love. Um, okay, so, oh God, I still have to do something stapled, don't I? Gosh, dang it. Um, something found in a garden is the gale here and the black ink stamping. And I guess uh, as far as my staple, I know what I'm going to do. This is just going to be simple and easy. Um, 
I'm going to take this and I'm going to staple this right on here like that. Okay, there's that gosh darn staple. Um, and yeah, and that, that is it. And I'm going to take my little prompts for this week and I'm going to tuck them right up inside of here and call it a Marguerite Miller collage for week two. All right, everybody, I really, really appreciate you joining in. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you subscribe. Um, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me at my craft table. Bye-bye.